Start by laying out all the product If you got a pivot kit, you'll get two pivots and shorter, two shorter pieces. And if you've gotten the fixed position, you'll get two miters. Take four end fasteners, including both bolts and flat pieces of the longer pieces of framing. Take the two that look like this and the two longer ones that look like this. Place the two T-slot frames at the top and bottom and the three T-slot frames at the left and right. The three T-slot frames should be positioned like this and the two T-slot frames should be positioned like this. Take one of the end fasteners, put the flat metal piece on the bolt. Grabbing one of the two T-slot channels, screw it in until the nut is sticking about half an inch out. Position the flat metal piece away from the inside slot. As you can see, there's a nub here. You want that on the outside. Slide it into, slide the flat metal piece into the slot of the three T-slotted pieces. On the three T-slot, you'll notice there's a hole drilled. Using your five millimeter T-handled screwdriver, Screw the bolt into the two T-bar all the way. Once you have the four pieces put together, make sure that you have a T-slot on the top, a T-slot on the side, and that the holes in the back here are exposed. Taking the shorter pieces that have a hole at the base, you're going to do the same thing with the end fasteners screwing them into here and putting the fastener up in here and tightening them on. Take the end fastener screw it on to the three T-slot piece taking the piece that has a hole make sure that there's a T-slot towards the frame and towards the center, slide it on, and again, use the five millimeter screwdriver to attach it. Do this to the other side also. Take the panel fasteners and the large sheet of acrylic and place it on top of the framing that you've already made. Take each bolt and each nut and screw the nut onto the bolt. Once all the nuts and bolts are attached, lay the piece of acrylic so that it lies flush on top of the framing. Take the included Allen wrench and tighten all of them as tight as they'll go. The next step will be building the base. If you've bought a pivot kit, you need to separate the pieces that are remaining with the two pivots the two pivot vertical pieces, the two base legs, the anchor bolts, and the 16 millimeter T-nuts. Take each anchor nut and take a look at it. You'll see that there's a longer piece here that sticks out, and then there's the bolt there. These are going to go into each bar like this. Notice that you need to always have the flat piece on the outside. There's two on each side. You can either stick the, them in to the vertical piece like this, or place these pieces in the track, making sure that one side has this facing one way, like that, and one has the other way facing this way. Using your 6mm, you may need to loosen them or tighten them in order for them to slide into the vertical piece. Once it's positioned where you want it, go ahead and tighten it up. 
do this for both of them. Once you have the two pieces together, grab a pivot. What you're going to want to do is unscrew the handle here, and you'll see that this flat piece can slide around. You want to take the black bolt that's here and the bolt here, which you'll first have to unscrew this extra piece off. You won't be needing that. What you want to do is you're going to want at the same time as putting the bolt down on top of the hole there, this hole here, you're going to also want to attack, put this black piece in like that. So you can see I have both the bolt in and the other bolt here. In. Screw that down. Tighten it. This now is your pivot. So you can, once this will be attached, you'll be able to screw and unscrew this to adjust it from straight up to straight flat. Next you'll need to grab the 16 millimeter T-nut along with the springs. Take each of the flat pieces that come with the T-nut and push a spring, making sure that there's no other springs as they, they sometimes will group together and you'll have to pull them apart. Grab each individual spring and push it on the part that sticks up here on each flat piece. And the spring should stay. Take the spring, push the spring in, and on the sides of your frame here, you want to slide the pieces in. You'll notice that they don't slide around. You may need to use a screwdriver to push it through. If you didn't have the spring, the piece of metal would just go in, and then as, it til as you tilted your projector, it would slide around making it very difficult to attach the base that we just built. Do that for all six springs and push all, all the springs back to here. So you have one, two, three on this side and three more on the other side. Use a screwdriver or your fingers to line up the nuts so that when the bolts go through the holes, they'll be able to attach securely to the frame. You want to make sure that the pivot is on the outside of each frame so that you can adjust it once the projector stand is complete. Using the 5mm screwdriver, attach all six of the bolts into the nuts that you just placed into the frame. To finish it up, you're going to use the bar end caps, which have a small tab on one side and a hole. That tab goes into a T-slot on one of the ends just like that. The hole can be either held on with a plastic fastener like this or one of the 12 millimeter bolts which you can attach just like that. If you want to use a plastic fastener much the same way Put the small tab on the end fastener into one of the T-slots and attach it. Depends on what kind of look you want. Most people go for this because the black on black hides it. This though obviously will stay on longer. There should be 10 end caps, 4 on the base. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place your projector 
on the stand. Use the included bungee strap. The strap around your projector. Attach it on each side onto the bottom frame. That will hold your projector in there really well. Use the pivots on either side to loosen, adjust whatever position you need it to, tighten, and you're good to go.